Hey everyone, welcome back to Prefusion. I am Anish, and today again we are back with a job notification. So this time it is not a permanent job; it is a apprentice job, right? Basically, uh, HPCL has come up with opportunity for all of the freshers, right, to like uh, get trained for one year, and you will also they they will also provide a stipend also, and you will be able to learn a lot of things, right? So HPCL is a government of India enterprise under the Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas, right? so basically uh, before like uh, deciding that should you apply for this or not we'll decide the pros and cons right but before that let us understand few things right about the eligibility criteria and the important dates so the application portal opened on 3rd of january right and it will close on 13th of jan so you should decide like in this video itself sir whether you should apply or not okay we'll discuss about that now who can apply basically if you have a btech degree from all of this right uh, then you can apply like civil mechanical electrical chemical electrical and electronics electronics and telecommunication all this right so if you have a enge engineering graduation degree from all of this right you can apply and your age limit should be 18 years and 25 years for uh, uh, general people right and they have normal relaxation for other people's right now uh, only like engineering gra graduation only in civil mechanical chemical electrical electrical and electronics slash electro electronics and telecommunication slash instrumentation computer science it and petroleum engineering they can only apply it right? any other btech degree if you have in your btech degree name right your branch name or uh, your course uh, curriculum right if any other name is present you are not eligible obviously you have to have minimum of 60 percent if you have like uh, cgp right cgp system in your university obviously they will give you some formula to convert it into percentage and you convert it into percentage if it is less than 60 percent then you are not eligible if it is equals or more than 60 percent you are eligible right so how much amount of stipend you will get you will get twenty five thousand of monthly stipend okay just do keep this in mind now what is the duration of the apprentice apprentice is one year duration right training is one year duration now what are the things you should apply like uh, keep note so who have like people who have completed their engineering graduation uh, after this right after the first of april 2021 are eligible before if anyone has graduated before this they are not eligible they only want like uh, newer people right fresher people that's why so yeah uh, and what are the things you have to mm, like uh, mention is that that uh, whatever qualification you presented they should be uh, recognized by ugc aict AI, C, uh, CT, and no, equivalent laws, right? So, yeah, and age limit I've already, already told, right? So, as on 3rd of January 2024, your age should be maximum of 25 years and minimum of 18 years. Okay, between these, you should lie, right? So, yeah, this is about the age limit. Now, last date I have already told, right? Last date I have already told, you have to apply before 30, uh, 13th January, else you will not be selected, right? Now, what are the important things to note here is like uh, they will. Uh, what is the procedure basically what is the selection methodology you will apply through your uh, like grade card right you, you will uh, submit your semester papers and all those things right then they will shortlist according to the marks in your semester papers right okay they, they will shortlist and they will call you for interview okay they will call you for interview if your marks are good right then you, yeah, there is a chance you might get selected so after uh, they call you for interview right after they call you for interview what will happen uh, interview will, will occur okay then uh, depending on both right depending on your merit list that your uh, semester scores and your interview between those uh, a overall merit list will be formed and through that you will be selected not only through interview so this is not like the brc right prc what was happening only through interview uh, you you were uh, you were uh, selected right but here both weightage will be taken care of your academic results and your interview but what uh, like uh, they don't tell what is the weightage division between interview and academic results but what i have heard from few people is that the interview obviously has higher weightage right interview has higher weightage interview has higher weightage, right? so just, just keep this in mind this is a very important point this is a very important point this is the selection methodology basically okay and what uh, is like what do they ask in interview that is a separate thing that i made like if, if there is enough interest i may provide some video right and how to apply basically right, you go to the website i will provide the link to the website right and you sign in and you're like you give your mobile number all those things and you, you can do it right you give your engineering branch all those things right now let's uh, come to the point that whether you should apply or not right so whether you should apply or not so here what what is hbcl saying is hbcl is saying that if you do a one year apprentice with us right we do not guarantee or assure any permanent or temporary em employment okay after the success uh, successful completion of the apprentice period right so they do not give you some permanent or temporary job they may they may give you but they do not guarantee anything and most probably they don't right um, mostly they don't i what i have uh, talked with few people they don't right so if they don't then what you should do so you should do is like uh, 
if you are obviously in a job right then i will recommend not to not to apply for this if you are not in a job and you need some money and you need some experience right then obviously you can apply and what do you do you study uh, while working there but there are two things to this so just know about this one that uh, whether it's a like uh, a good location the job location like apprentice location is good or it is some remote area right if you are going in a remote area and if you if you have to daily go and it is not desk desk job type and it is like a uh, field job then what will happen is you you will not be able to study during your job hours but if it is a uh, desk job type then you will be able to study during your job hours also because every time you won't be busy during your job hours sometimes you will feel right so yeah that is one issue so you have to take in mind that uh, think according to that okay obviously you have to study with the apprentice else you will just waste your time okay because like they don't give you some guarantee of getting a permanent job here right so that thing you have to keep in mind okay so that those that is for the people who will apply so i told right if you already have a job don't apply if you don't have a job and you want a bit of training and you want a bit of experience and like you want to study a bit right uh, basically like you can study a bit with job you, if you have the energy that amount of energy then you, you should take it right you should take it okay so yeah that was for like why you should apply and like they, to, they tell us that if you like if you the if you have applied for the apprentice and you have done successfully completed the apprent, uh, apprenticeship then obviously uh, they will give you some preference with age and stuff but uh, that's not anything guaranteed so yeah that's uh, the recommendation that i will give to all the people right so that is basically it's it for the hvcl thing okay a uh, few things that you have to keep in mind and any doubt you have right any doubt you have you can contact them through this email id and this phone number okay these are very important any doubt you have you can contact them so yeah that's it uh, for this video i will put all the links to the description and to the comment section so i hope you like this video and do subscribe to our channel for more updates like this